In today's video, I've got five facts about Kashiwagi Rain from the series Darwin's Game slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Rain's bio, abilities and equipment in the anime, her voice actors, sigil, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Rain, who is also known in D-Game as the Information Broker, is one of the key members of the Sunset Ravens clan. She made her debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 6 of the manga. Rain is 13 years of age at the beginning of the series and around 18 years old at the current stage of the manga. She has blue eyes in the anime whereas her eyes in the manga are purple. Rain has medium length black hair worn in a barb like cut. Attire wise for casual wear she wears a light coloured shirt, a black one piece outfit with a skirt and black stockings or a shirt and short shorts. When fighting in Darwin's game Rain wears a large light coloured coat that is pretty much the length of her entire body. Random one, but Rain loves a Maibu, which is a puff corn snack, especially the Natu flavor. She hoards boxes of this in her data analysis room, and she claims that this is the source of her energy. Personality-wise, Rain is extremely mature, very insightful, and in most situations is the voice of reason, all despite her actual age. Known as the information broker, she is the key source of both strategy and source of information to her clan, the Sunset Ravens. This is all due to her high analytical skills. An amazing trait of hers is, you know, that adds to how mature she is for her age, and especially in the circumstances that occur in D-Game, is how calm she remains when under pressure, especially in potential life-threatening situations. Because of this maturity that we have spoken of, she of course hates being referred to and treated like a child, which, as you can imagine, is understandable. Fair, fair. Rain prefers to stay inside and is often shown to have a very displeased expression. So, in summary, She's a weeb. She's one of us, guys. She's one of us. Rain's Japanese voice actress is Umori Nichika. She has voiced other characters such as Lisa in 100, Era Labrada from Science Fell in Love So I Tried to Prove It, Yurine Hanazono in Dropkick on My Devil, Aya Ono from Rainbow Days, and more. Rain's English voice actress is Tia Ballard. She has voiced other characters such as Zero Two in Darling in the Franks, Yu Koito from Bloom Into You, Yoshino in Data Live, Happy from Fairy Tale, and more. When it comes to combat, if she has to, Rain's preferred method is sniping. Now, in a report by the CIA, it stated that Rain had succeeded in hitting a target that was more than 2,000 meters away while in combat, which is amazing. We don't have an exact model of sniper that she uses as she was shown to own and, you know, use several. The sniper rifle she uses is often carried around in a case with her while participating in D-Game. She was shown to use a Scorpion VZ-61 in one of the clan battles as well. As well as her exceptional sniping skills, Rain is also very athletic as we have seen her flipping from a bus window to a roof and so on. You know, I guess her small stature probably helps towards these athletic skills, but... I'm no, no heightist, I guess. <laughs> Rain's sigil is called Laplace. Her sigil allows her to know the pinpoint location of the momentum of objects around her and uses this to calculate how they will move so she can then calculate herself how she will combat that current situation. If you think about it in a kind of roundabout way, she can pretty much see into the future. It's awesome. She can even use Laplace on herself. We saw her do this to put herself into a deep state of thought that was portrayed as showing her underwater, and you know, it was a pretty, pretty awesome scene. Doing this, as you can imagine, puts an extremely large strain or stress on her, which you know has caused the odd nosebleed. 
Rain Sigil is amazing, and it's probably one of my, you know, favorites, one of the best in Darwin's game and its universe. Saying this, of course, with every sigil, there is a couple of ways of combating this, such as moving faster than she can see, attacking a large area in which she can't escape, or simply, or not simply, depending on your sigil, teleporting. Thanks for watching this my video, 5 facts about Kashiwagi Rain from the series Darwin's Game. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, let me know in the comments. And a quick shout out to Warwick and Animator22 for supporting me on Patreon, as well as the beautiful bunch displayed on the screen and of course the rest of you supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, check out those other links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, peace!